The stores in Leicester and Northampton will sell everything from traditional pot to edibles. Our John Keller has a closer look at the implications. Good morning. Finally, it's here. The long-awaited and in some quarters dreaded start of legal recreational marijuana sales in Massachusetts, a first for the eastern U.S. If the sales are as strong and the tax revenues as robust as advocates claim they will be, other states will quickly follow suit. So, what will this new world be like? The good news is it likely won't be as bad as some legal pot critics have claimed. Nearly 35 million Americans admit to being regular pot users, and more than half of all adults have at least tried it. Given how toxic some of the behaviors linked with alcohol can be, it's hard to believe we'll be seeing anything worse than that if pot use expands well beyond its current level. After all, more than 30,000 Americans died of alcohol-related causes in one recent year, while there were zero documented fatalities due to marijuana use. Ask any healthcare professional what their bigger worry is, pot or booze and opioids, and they'll either give you a blank stare or laugh at you. On the other hand, the law enforcement people I've talked with about the onset of legal pot aren't laughing, and with good reason. In 2016, 44 percent of fatally injured drivers with toxicity results tested positive for drugs, with more than half of those having pot, opioids, or a combination in their system. That was a higher percentage of fatals than where alcohol was present. What's the bottom line? Legal pot is not the boogeyman, but it's going to pose many of the same problems as other drugs. And while we reap the benefits, we'll also have to pay for the consequences. Your feedback is welcome here via email at keller at wbctv.com or through Twitter at Keller at Large.